Hi all, this is Chris here with Everyday VBA. In this video, we're going to be doing an Excel if statement. This is going to be Excel if statement 101. So let's go ahead and dig right in. If you hit Alt F11, it's going to open up your Visual Basic Editor. I already have a module open, so we're not going to do that. If you don't have that, you're going to click this drop down, click module, and then double click on the module when it opens. So we're doing, we're going to call this sub ifs. Now, first thing we want to do is we want to go over the if syntax. Now, the if syntax is going to be if, then you're going to have some sort of criteria. And I'm just going to type um, x equals x. That would be a criteria. Then you're going to do something. Now, if you hit down, it's going to actually capitalize those and turn those blue. If you know, if it's blue, you've done something right. If it's red, you've got an issue. Okay, so I've got a correct criteria, I've got an if, I've got a then, and when I get out of that, um, when I get off of that line, it actually changes it to blue, gives me some context contextual help there, which is awesome. Now if I hit F8 to process this, it's going to give me a compile error block if without end if. Any if statement needs to have an end if. So best practice is when you're doing your if statement to always just enter it down a couple lines and then put your end if statement in. So that is your basic syntax is if your criteria then in the same line and then you have to have an end if. Now what's going to happen is if this criteria is true it's going to come down in here. If it's not true it's going to actually skip the whole thing. So <clears throat> I'm going to just walk you through real quick. We're going to go x equals 9 um, message box yay because that'll be awesome so we've got our if statement we've got our it's the syntax is correct we've got we're going to set a variable equal to 9 and then we're going to check to see if that variable x is equal to 10 which it is not and um, I'm going to hit F8 and that is going to process through each line process through each line that is not true so it's going to skip that whole section now if we change this to 10, it's going to say x is equal to 10. If I highlight over this, it's going to say it's equal to 10. 10 is equal to 10. That is true. You're going to get a message box, and it's going to say yay. So that is a basic, um, the basic syntax of an if statement. Now let's talk about criteria. So criteria can be a couple things. It really needs to be x can be greater than. Um, I'm just going to type it in here, x, and I'll leave this in the notes. I'll actually put this in the comments so you can have this. You can have this code. So x can be greater than. So x is greater than x. Uh, I'm just going to type this in, greater than, and then you can do x is greater than or equal to x. And I'm putting a double comment in there uh, just in case if you take that comment off, uh, it will have that comment included. Um, it should, it'll just be nice when you have this in the comments. So this is going to be greater than or equal to than or equal. Then you've got x is less than x. And I am going to basically just copy. Actually, this is going to make more sense. So you basically have, um, it's going to be like six criteria, and these are going to be less than, if I'm not boring you to tears, this is not my goal here. Now you've got the last two is going to be equal to, equal to, and then you've got to have not equal to. So, um, so those are all your criteria you can use. And you're going to use criteria for t uh, in a couple areas. You're going to use them for if statements. You'll actually use them for do statements as well. Um, but this is a um, those are those are all the criteria that you can use for an if statement. Now, in future videos, we're going to go over an if then else, and then there's also an if. Um, and then else if. And so you can nest these pretty nice. This is a, a basic uh, 
fundamental of all coding. And if you can understand a couple things, if you can understand just the overall structure of whatever application you're in, which in this case is obviously Excel, and if you can understand an if statement, and if you can understand loops or iterations, um, in this case we'll go over fors and dos, you can learn. You can pretty much code in any language. It's all about just learning the syntax of it. So I hope this is helpful. Hope you enjoyed.